uh, well, uh, let's start from the scratch carefully. So I assume we're all uh, very, very new to um, Power Apps and let's understand what it is for the next five, 10 minutes. And then we'll slowly step into the practice part. So I request you to write your observation notes if possible. It's very simple. Let, let's make sure we do our best carefully. So our Power Apps and Power Automate of uh, this course is 50-50. Uh, I mean, 50% examples, sorry, 100% examples on Power Apps plus 100% examples on Power, Power Automate. I mean, uh, we need to have two pieces of uh, equal flavored cakes, okay, uh, put together side by side. On top of it, the creaming part would be virtual agent, power pages and power virtual agent. So power apps, one particular piece of cake and power automate, another equal sized piece of cake. We need to integrate together slowly, step by step. I assume we are all very, very new and yep, Sai Panindra from SQL School. I assure you complete practice oriented classes from scratch, right from the basics. We are into Power Apps and Power Automate, complete end-to-end -end activities one by one. So before we step into Power Apps and Power Automate, first, what is Power Platform? Let's start from the root. Here it is. Microsoft Power Platform is a collection of low-code tools. Virtually, it is zero-code tools that helps business build custom applications, automated workflows and analyze the data, like read and understand the data, conclude analysis and various strategy decisions. So this power platform really, thanks to Microsoft, you know, it has come up with a lot of user interface in the recent past with, you know, uh, making Techy activities, very simple, really, right from a data analyst to a data engineer to a data scientist. Anyone, everyone has something to do with Power Platform. A low code platform that spans Microsoft 365, spans means that can integrate easily, uh, make use of the resources of Office, say, uh, Microsoft 365, Azure, and Dynamics 365 Cloud, and standalone apps, right from Google Sheets, Joho, Salesforce, Gendesk, etc. So here in Power Platform, we have Power BI, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Pages. Okay, four important components. Our course is into these three. Plus additionally, we have something called Power Virtual Agent, PVA, Power Virtual Agent. Then what about Power BI? A separate one month journey for a separate component altogether. Is equal to Power Platform. Single umbrella has all these various uh, technologies. And in our classes, we need to uh, practically deal with data connectors, AI builders, and Dataverse concepts. Dataverse is again another important uh, technology for data access activities. It is like a data source and data connection agent, a secure data source connection agent activities. So in making it short and straight, our Power Platform classes, our current course involves Power Apps, Power Pages, Power Apps is for designing the apps. There are different ways to design apps and here we are going to concentrate practically on Canvas, Canvas activities, easier to uh, design and manage. Power Pages, portfolios, Power Automate, Virtual Agent and SharePoint integrations. Now you may ask me, Sai, I'm very, very new to SharePoint. Yep. I assume we are new to every keyword on the screen. Okay. We'll take it from the scratch, right from the basics carefully. Now, to step into our course, what is Power Apps? See, so far we are learning what is Power Platform. 
collection of low code tools one such low code tool is power apps so what is power apps yes it is again a low code or no code platform for what to build applications apps without writing any code we can happily build the code without writing any code we can happily build the app we'll do i'm going to give you the step by step process today like what all we need to do step by step in a proper order okay so that at the end we are able to uh, get a deep link to our app publish the app share it export or import across various cloud tenants azure cloud tenants and other things other tenants we call these apps are so powerful trust me very beautiful apps that can really add the real real time life to our data i know you are waiting for it let's understand slowly what i mean i know you are waiting to learn more about power apps here are the main features features of power apps easy integration with other microsoft data platform services like excel one drive etc including our sql database azure sql database etc user friendly interface using power apps we can create new tables read existing table data from sql database or excel update an excel file or delete some rows from azure sql database we are going to learn them practically so for our power app scores good to have prior knowledge of sql our course is mainly for i need to bear in mind the participants who have some touch on database who are already working on database for them this is really more useful see power apps can be learned and implemented by anyone everyone in our classes we are inclined towards the participants the folks who are already into data platform database developers engineers admins data analysts data scientists for them we are having this power apps course so and very easy design interface so i need to focus more on cloud connectivity and data platform connectivity to and fro power apps the practical use not just us explaining the options but i need to make sure i focus on the use case scenarios for our concepts we'll do it slowly i need to make sure i answer all your common possible questions in next 10 to 15 20 minutes from now and power apps is more cheaper and more secure who can learn anyone anyone it works and main advantage is cheaper easy to use free app design and easy integration with any cloud preferably any microsoft cloud office 365 xbox azure or it can be even one drive etc or dynamics or anything sharepoint and all there are few competitors for power apps google app maker oracle apps express joho creator quickbase firebase very very recently we have even adobe also into the list even adobe is also into the list now but still we prefer to go for power apps from microsoft reason it has other friends with them see not only power apps we have full stack we have full stack a family a family of power platform components given by microsoft at cheaper cost you have various alternatives for power apps various alternatives for power automate various alternatives for power pages various alternatives for data version a builder and power bi but instead of having different different our tools and different different licenses let's put everything in a single umbrella that's main advantage we are getting everything in a single plate then why to go for a la carte we have a nice tasty quality buffet here at a cheaper price 
so there comes the main market for power apps is because of other power platform technologies now what we are going to learn a small or checklist activities there are total 19 components we need to learn from power apps and power automate put together to make it more clear and easier for us to make it more clear and easier for us here it is just to make it uh, easier i just open a small excel document and show you what we are going to actually learn in our classes so here it is we are going to uh, talk from data perspective okay we are going to talk from data perspective why here it is our main uh, subject lines or my main motto to make use of these power apps in a different way let me show you what i mean by that okay so here it is i will take the excel sheet like this this is my yes here it is this is my power apps okay friends uh, it really worked investing our valuable time in getting into what first why next how and when we are done we'll do slowly power automate okay these are the uh, two major uh, takeaways we are going to learn here of course we have other things like power virtual agent power pages and bot copilot and all anyway but these are the main things now i'll just uh, graph it up in this way to make it easier for us so this is our uh, power platform two major activities now here i need to bear in mind i need to bear in mind number one you may be a data analyst you may be a data analyst right and you want to use power apps for your day-to-day -day activities we are going to concentrate on that as well so it's not just how to use uh, or how to uh, work with power app center phase not only that but how a data analyst is going to work with it so with power apps and power automate the power platform we are going to learn it and same way data scientists data analysts data scientists and other one business analysts in fact this is a technical order right isn't it say data scientist would be the ultimate job role in general and you are a data scientist your junior would be usually business analysts and their juniors would be usually data analysts in general okay when we talk from technology perspective implementation perspective job roles perspective generally now same way we have three more three more onto my screen right side we have it's all about data okay database developers and data engineers and database admins yes it may sound a bit different we have power apps power platform admin related jobs also cut to see linkedin you have power apps power it's becoming so big there are dedicated admin related jobs now so it's all about data that we need to work with and apart from that apart from that there can be even bi developers okay maybe power bi bi developers it can be
for everyone anyone there is one common friend perhaps so in our classes we are going to deal with examples in such a way they are useful to our existing job work okay we'll do it in a very careful way slowly step by step so you are already into one of these red boxes then how we can integrate how we can happily continue our traveling with the data is what we need to learn slowly step by step we'll do it anyway i'll try my best to make sure we do the integrations it would take some time or uh, to get my complete diagram just to make it clear let me just make sure like we understand what exactly we are going to learn it will be easy for us next so here it should be like this right just to make it clear yep here it is next one more thing okay done one more thing so here we have another important item the prerequisites well there are no specific prerequisites theoretically but practically from our course there are certain prerequisites what are they yes please revise any any one sql subject preferably microsoft sql so here are the prerequisites ms sql concepts so you may join us for ms sql enjoy all the architecture and the queries or you're already into it it's good make sure you revise all the concepts right and any kind of revision queries you wanted do let me know regular ddl dml queries queries joins procedures because we are going to learn in our classes something called parameter something called data tables and gallery something called ms flow microsoft flow something called deep link there are nice app design activities that need to be shared and exported to multi-tenant environments so keeping that in mind make sure you revise queries joins procedures basic should be fine no problem at all basic should be enough and sql data types okay if possible try to get these things please revise them this should be absolutely enough this should be enough so one is queries please revise them and other one is about joins please revise joins as well and then it's all about procedures basics very very basic procedure should be enough trust me basic should be fine and we have data types integer character and when to use which data type just the basics should be enough no problem at all very basics during your revision any questions any doubts i am there always next that's it nothing else so this is our entire uh, mode i mean entire plan of action so your profile would be either starter or one of these red boxes we are having a deep dive onto power platform in a meaningful way not just uh, make use of the option and leave it no how to integrate power apps in our resume how to integrate power apps in our actual day-to-day -day work is what we need to learn from scratch from the basics carefully so accordingly accordingly yes we are starting with what is data data platform activities okay here we go data platform activities next how to store data 
So what is data? Raw facts or information can be sourced from end user inputs, IoT devices. How to store data? How to store data? How to store here? File format, Excel, JSON, AVRO, etc. Table format, SQL database, Dataverse, Data Grid, Data Lake, Lake House, etc. So Power Apps is a low code or zero code, no code platform, a suit of tools to design applications that can read data from these data sources. So we are going to work with something called apps, services, connections, data platforms, Azure AI and Gen AI, co-pilot activities, Excel analytics and Power Apps, Power BI and Power Apps we are going to integrate, SQL database and Power Apps we are going to integrate, Power App Studio, designer, scheduling, automate, dataverse, semantic models, and other platform components. Preferably how MS SQL concepts are really good. For our practice, we need to do certain installations during our classes. So make sure we have Windows 8 or higher OS 64 bit processor. and relevant Microsoft certification. PL300, complete guidance and latest exam samples part of the course. We'll do it slowly. Concept wise notes, material and good number of activities for integrations. We'll be doing it along with SharePoint operations. We'll do slowly step by step. And we have detailed course curriculum that would be shared with you. See that you go through it carefully, step by step. Our next concept, next item, we need to slowly start with the components of Power Apps, sorry, Power Platform, the components of Power Platform and start our classes with examples. Like practically how to read data and then step into app design. There is something called App Maker and app studio using which we can happily perform the activities one by one hope you got some idea what is power say what is power platform in general what is power apps in particular we'll start it slowly with practice examples one by one we'll do next